1735, my ancestor, Mother Leeds, was pregnant with her 13th child, and it said, under the pain of birth, of labor, she cried out, let it be the devil, and so it was. The creature, the baby was born normally at first, but then metamorphosed into this dragon-like creature. In some accounts, you know, the creature sort of uh, thrashes everyone in the room, and other accounts it kills the women who are attending the birth, and then it flies around the room and out the chimney and into the night. And that, many say, is the earliest story of the Jersey Devil. Children born in that time with a genetic defect, born alive or dead, but of, of um, nature gone awry, and such a monstrosity, as it was sometimes called, or even monster, would often be thought to be a sign of some sort or uh, evidence of some kind of uh, satanic activity or witchcraft. The Jersey Devil, or the Leeds Devil, as it is sometimes called, is a, is a cryptid animal. It's mostly described as a, as a flying bipedal creature, meaning that it stands upright. There are variations on this that has the body of a gaunt horse. The forelegs are, are shorter, the hind legs are actually skinny, but hooved. There are wings that, depending on reports, vary from two feet outstretched to four to six to eight even. It has a tail, which is considered a spike or, or, or fort, as part of its demonic or supernatural origin. It uh, frightens people, especially children, and it kills livestock and wreaks havoc on social order. And there were really a surprising number of attacks in a very short period of time. From literally the 1700s, we go from 1951 to 1960 when a $10,000 reward was offered in 1991, on to 2007, 2008, and sightings there. The scariest thing about the Jersey Devil is its appearance and its size. You know, it's this man-sized or larger than man-sized dragon. I mean, if I saw that coming toward me, I'd certainly run the other way too. 